Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here popping in real quick. You know, I want to speak to the fellas today, you know, send this to your brother, send this to your, your dad if he, you know, single or um, your cousin, boyfriend, husband. You know, it's something I'm realizing and this, there's this call to manhood. It's a call to manhood and it is not simple. It is not easy. It is not fun. There is a responsibility placed on a man. There's a very heavy burden placed on a man. But the thing about it is if you are given a burden, that means you are given the shoulders to be able to bear that burden. And one of the things that we cannot do as men is we cannot get caught up feeling sorry for ourselves and going into a state of mind where we are focusing so much on the lack of praise that we aren't getting, the lack of support that we aren't getting, the the expectations that's being placed on us. Like we can't go into a place to where we get so focused on that, that we forget the big picture and that we forget that we are called to greatness, that we are called to excellence, and that we are very well capable of carrying the load that's been placed on our shoulders. And we have to be comfortable doing the work for an audience of one, meaning for God, for your creator, and knowing that your reward is going to be greater than what mankind can give you. Your reward is going to be bigger than that. And we got to be okay in our manhood with doing what we got to do to make things happen. You know, meaning working as hard as we got to work, sacrificing as deep as we got to sacrifice, going, sowing, growing, learning, and really putting our happiness, our success, our purpose putting these things at the forefront and finding that balance to where we work extremely hard to provide for ourselves and our family. But then you also got to know when you need a break and you can't ask for permission for that break. So if you need to go fishing, if you need to go racing in your car, if you need to go bowling, whatever you need to do to recenter to reset yourself, to balance yourself, you got to do that because you busting your butt, working as hard as you can to take care and provide for yourself and your family. And you cannot be apologetic as a man about your calling, nor about your conservation of yourself your love for yourself. Like you got to be relentless in your pursuit of your purpose, your dreams, your goals, but also of your peace, your sanity, your happiness. You got to set boundaries in your life. You got to be able to say no. You got to be able to cut some people off if you need to cut some people off. You got to be able to stand your ground, but stand your ground in love Stand your ground in strength, stand your ground in peace, stand your ground in humility. So as a man, you got to get to a place to where not that you being you, you bashing people or belittling people or controlling or demeaning or manipulative, manipulative or coercive. But you are operating from a place of confidence, from a place of strength, from a place of integrity from a place of love, a sound mind, you have, you're fair, but you're also real. And you can't apologize for being real, but being real doesn't mean being rude. Being real means being direct and understanding who you are and what you bring to the table in every situation, every room you go into. And so listen, we're in a space right now where one thing I notice is that we get into a place as men where we're feeling sorry for ourselves. Nothing put on you is too great for you to bear. 
God ain't going to give you more than he knows you can handle. So we go against what we here for when we go to feeling sorry for ourselves. When we go to wallowing in our misery, depression, being upset about not being catered to by a woman or our children or friends or family and really starting to feel sorry for ourselves and we we can't sit in that space but we gotta wake up and understand like hey this is the call of a man this is the role and the duty of a man let me do it with excellence let me do it at the highest level let me use everything that's in me everything that i have everything that i'm capable of let me use that, let me do that, and let me be okay with that. Let me not get weary in well-doing, in what I'm called to do. And it's it's not going to be easy because as a man, we, we're going to miss some things. We're not going to be at everything. We, we're going to have some, some fallouts. We're going to have some weak days, some, some tough days. But you got to know as a man that you're built for the race and that it'll be given to he who is steady, he who is persistent, he who is consistent, not he who is swift and fast and strong, and but he who is persistent, the one who is willing to get up and to do the same every single day to go after it every single day. That's who it's gonna be given to. That's who the victory and the spoils of the spiritual warfare that we will conquer, that we will overcome, that's who it's given to. So when we get to that place and we understand that and we are willing to operate in that space and we are willing to stop crying and stop complaining and stop pouting and, and to suck it up and to say, hey, I know this hurt. I know this may seem unfair. I know this might not always look right if I'm looking at it from a certain way, but I'm built for this. I'm called to this and I can do this. And I'm not gonna make excuses, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm not gonna make excuses, I'm gonna make changes. And I think when we accept that as a man, I believe life gets easier. I heard Zig Ziglar say, the harder you are on yourself, the easier life will be on you. So me as a man, I'm, I'm, t I'm about to turn it up. You know, I'm about to turn it up. I'm about to go into overdrive because life ain't promised. Tomorrow ain't promised. Even if you live 100 years, that's still a short life in the grand scheme of things. We call it a long life, but compared to how God lived, you know, that's, that's just a, a moment in time. So we got to make sure that we've left everything here when we call to that next life when we getting ready to go to heaven that we done left every ounce of our talent of our wisdom of our gift of our strength that we've completely exhausted ourselves here on earth and we left nothing in the tank and every single thing is here and however that lives on beyond you but hey this tony gaskin god bless you i'm on the road working um i put a link on the blessed tribe to my, my new podcast that's coming. It'll have a YouTube channel. I put the link in my Instagram story too. So if you're not in the Blessed Tribe, please subscribe to that. Y'all know I don't ask y'all to subscribe, but but that that new podcast is going to be bigger than me because it's going to be studying greatness, you know, outside of myself. I'm going to be pulling from other people and, and their unique greatness. And I think that all of that put together is going to bless you. So, hey, this is Tony Gaskins. God bless you. We'll talk soon.